Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which helps us in printing BST nodes that lie in a given range. First, let us take an example. For example, if K1 is equal to 10 and K2 is equal to 22, then the function should print 12, 20 and 22 in the given binary tree. Now let us see the algorithm. If value of roots key is greater than k1 then recursively call in the left subtree. If value of roots key is in range then print the roots key. If value of roots key is smaller than k2 then recursively call in the right subtree. Now let us see the implementation. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. Let's take range as 10 to 22. So we pass 10 to k1 and 22 to k2 and 20 to root to function print. Since root is not null, we check if k1 is less than root's data. As it is true, we call for the left subtree of 20 using a call stack. Now root will point to 8. Again, as root is not null, we check if k1 is less than root's data. Since it is false, we check if root lies between k1 and k2. As it is false again, we pass the right child of 8 which is 12. Again, as root is not null, we check if k1 is less than root's data. As it is true, we pass the left child of 12, which is null. Now, as root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. We check if root lies between k1 and k2. As it is true, we print root. So, 12 is printed. Now we check if k2 is greater than root's data. It is true. We pass the right child of 12 which is null. Since root is null, we return to the previous call. Execution for nodes 12 and 8 is over. Execution for root equal to 20 is resumed. And now we check if 20 lies between k1 and k2. As it is true we print 20. Then we check if k2 is greater than 20. As it is true, we pass the right child of 20 which is 22. Since root is not null, we check if k1 is less than 22. As it is true, we pass the left child of 22 which is null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Execution for nodes 22 and 20 is over and we have the final output. Now, let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n complexity. Here, n are the number of nodes in the binary tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.